The, beta, the database I am using is very simple. All it has in it is f four tables. Customers have orders. Orders have products in it, but it's connected by an order details table. So what is the trick we are going to use? That we create a form that has the following structure. It's basically very simple. I say don't allow edits, so I can never change this drop down button, because then I would assign a new customer to that order ID, which is not good. But at the moment I want to add a new order. The order ID will automatically kick in, because it is an auto number. And then you just select the company that ordered that. And when you do that you get automatically the information that comes with that customer. And the rest is a matter of data entry. So that is so great about this simple form. It's basically a very simple form. What do you have to do in order to make such a simple form? You don't even need Visual Basic. Uh, one of the tricks is that you start with putting in the order table a customer ID that is done with a lookup form. And you do that by selecting here lookup wizard. I did that already. And then the tab lookup will have in there a combo box with a table query source type and there is a simple query behind that row. I'm opening it here by clicking on the three dots and all that is in there is the customer ID and the company name in an ascending order so you get those in an ascending order alphabetically. That's very important to start with. So by doing that we have already that combo box that we will find later on in the form. Then the second step is that you create a query. Create and then query design. And when you do that make sure that it has the following structure. I did that already for you, that it has the customers table and the orders table. That is the information you want in your form ultimately. So that determines which fields you are going to use. Then take the order ID from the orders table in the first field. That is an auto number in the table. I didn't show you that, but I assume you know how to do that. An auto number will automatically assign the next available number. So you don't have to worry about that, but it connects later on with the other tables. And then in the second field you use the customer ID, but be careful that you use the customer ID from the orders table. That is the one on the many side. One customer has many orders, so don't take the one on the one side. And the other fields depend on what you want in your form. I I chose practically everything in the customers table and in the orders table that I want in here. Once that is done, save that query. And then finally we need to create that form. I'm going to do that from scratch, though I have one already. Create form wizard and make sure that you choose from there the query that you have just created for this purpose. And move all the fields in there because you have put those fields in there because you wanted them. Next, leave it this way. So don't show your data by customers. Just make it one long form. Next, column not probably. Next, give it a name. I'm, I'm just going to keep orders, for I have called the other one form orders, and finish. And that is the form you, you get. It has already everything in there, nicely done. 
all you have to do now is make sure that users cannot change this customer. At this moment I can and that would be a disaster. So I'm going to undo that. So go to the design screen. Take the properties of the total form. You can find them in that little corner there. Right click on it. Properties. And under the the data tab you see you can allow additions, deletions, edits and filters. I'm going to say don't allow edits. For that would allow you to change the customer that came with that order number. Deletions, I leave that up to you. You definitely want additions. You want to get new orders. So now I should be able to um, to do that. When I go to, uh, I cannot change this anymore. But I should be able to add a new customer. It will automatically number this once you select who that customer is. It will automatically get an order number and all the rest of the data. And it will end up all in the orders and in the order details. It's a very simple trick to do this kind of tools. I wish you good luck.